we are losing our most effective anti-malaria drugs. Millions of lives are at stake. The alarm comes from a world-leading center, the Shoklo Malaria Research Unit of Maezot, a Thai town on the Burmese border. Here, researchers are facing a strain of the malaria parasite resistant to artemisinin derivatives. This resistance makes these drugs less effective and could eventually render them obsolete. Simayu is a field station of the Mahidol Oxford Research Unit in Bangkok, which is a collaboration between Oxford University and Mahidol University in Thailand. And it's uh, doing operational research on malaria and providing healthcare to the population living on the border between Thailand and Myanmar. The resistance to antimicinin derivative was described around 2004 in Cambodia and it started here between 2006 and 2008. It's uh, only one of the parasites, Plasmodium falciparum. And we discovered it because as part of our research activities, we follow the patients after treatment and we noticed that when we treat them with these drugs, it took longer and longer for them to clear the parasite from their blood. And those, this is the first sign of resistance to these drugs. About 70% of the parasites in this area are resistant to drugs. Researchers discovered it by checking a molecular marker. So how long it will take to reach uh, India and, uh, and Bangladesh, we don't know, but we think it's a matter of only a few years. And unfortunately, there are some people, for example, at the WHO, who think it's not an emergency and that we have time to deploy, you know, long-term strategy to deal with this. But our understanding is that it is an emergency and that what we call the containment programs, which started in Cambodia to try to keep it in Cambodia, have failed because now it's already here and it's already in Vietnam and it's probably already in Myanmar somewhere to the west. And if we continue to do the same strategy, then there is no hope that it will stop. So we must be much more aggressive to stop it. What could happen if it reaches Africa? Millions of deaths. The clinics of SMRU treat 15,000 malaria cases a year, and these are the building blocks of their research. They also grow colonies of mosquitoes, and one of the scientists feeds them with their own blood. Well, it's like an acupuncture. It is, it is painful, especially when you feed more than 500 mosquitoes. So, yeah, it's not pleasant. <laughs> SMRU is fighting the spread of the resistance by treating as many people as possible and increasing control measures. But this clinic alone cannot stop this spread. What institution and government can do is to adopt policies and strategy which are aiming at eliminating malaria and not just controlling it. If we are not careful, we know that malaria will come back because it has always done that. And uh, if we are not uh, successful in eliminating it, at least for, from large areas where there is a problem of resistance, then resistance will, will mean that uh, those effective drugs that we have now, uh, we will not have them anymore. And we don't have any new drugs to replace them. It takes about 10 years to develop a new treatment. And we don't have 10 years in front of us, so we need to do something about it.